Republic of Korea, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. In light of this being the Republic of Korea's first intervention, on behalf of the Republic of Korea's delegation, I would like to express gratitude for the tremendous efforts of the Panamanian government and the Secretary of the Convention in facilitating this significant event. The Republic of Korea has been actively implementing various tobacco control policies recommended by the FCTC. In October 2023, we enacted the Tobacco Harm Control Act, which serves as the legal basis for the full implementation of Articles 9 and 10 of the Convention. Previously, the Republic of Korea only listed eight harmful ingredients on cigarette packages, but under the new law, tobacco companies are required to submit information on the ingredients and emissions from tobacco products to the government, and the government can make information on harmful ingredients available to the public. Furthermore, the Republic of Korea amended the National Health Promotion Act to expand the smoke-free zones around the educational facilities used by children and adolescents. In addition, at the end of 2023, we developed and distributed media guidelines to encourage the media industry to reduce the exposure of children and adolescents to tobacco and smoking scenes when creating media contents. In addition to these new policies, the Republic of Korea continues to uphold the implementation of current tobacco regulations. The Republic of Korea government enforces equivalent tobacco regulatory standards for heated tobacco products and cigarettes. Additionally, e-liquid using tobacco plant as a primary component are taxed at a similar rate as cigarettes. The government has implemented anti-smoking advertisements and campaigns nationwide to deter smoking and offer smoking cessation support services to smokers. These efforts have resulted in a significant reduction in the adult smoking rate in Korea, dropping from 35.1% in 1998 to 17.7% .7 in 2022, the lowest level on record. However, Emerging nicotine and tobacco products that can bypass existing tobacco regulation policies are continuously introduced and are spreading in the market. The tobacco industry's marketing and proliferation of emerging tobacco products is a global issue that transcends borders. Beyond the efforts of individual countries, we hope that all WHO FCTC parties will collectively address the proliferation of electronic cigarettes and emerging tobacco products. Thank you.